So I've got this hook set up just for demonstration purposes, not for a particular pattern. I've got a very thin strip of two millimeter tying foam tied in here off the end. If I give this strip just a little bit of pull and I start to actually twist it, if I twist it up nice and tight and fold it back on itself, it'll actually twist around and it'll form a really kind of nice simplistic way to make an extended body for different patterns. It's kind of fun. So we'll tie that off real quick just to get that out of the way. Another thing that I mentioned in the post above was the ability to put tension on foam to make it thinner, stretch it out a little bit. So if I have a piece of foam tied in for a particular pattern and I'm going to wrap this as part of the body, as I wrap, if I put tension on it, you can see that it flattens out and becomes a little bit thinner. All those little air pockets in the foam will compress. If I take another wrap, same foam, but a lot less tension on it, you can see how it expands and it puffs up quite a bit. So using tension, you can kind of control the width of the material that you're working with. One of the most important things is this stuff right here. So zap a gap. Anytime I'm going to actually create a pattern uh, and I'm right here or try to set up and attach foam to the shank of a hook, I always want to put down a little bit of zap a gap right on the hook shank. And that just helps to kind of bond and anchor that material down. Uh, I've got a pretty wide chunk of three millimeter tying foam here. And I always like to cut this to a little bit of a taper when I tie it in. Just makes it easier to get a little bit of a purchase on it when you start the thread wraps. So we'll attach this here and then I'll show you a couple different things. So you can see how that with that taper, I can work my thread right up onto the front of the piece of thread and attach it pretty easily. So a lot of patterns out there, you'll have the, this piece of foam tied in. And in some way, shape or form, sometimes you'll end up pulling it back over the top. <clears throat> when we look at the width of this, this is a pretty bulky piece of foam. So if I take this and I fold this over and I just try to go after it with just the thread and kind of cinch it down, it's kind of twists on me and it doesn't really want to sit where I want it to sit. And that's where that pinch and cinch comes in that I talked about in the post above. So I'm going to put my index finger and my thumb right up here where I'm going to lay that thread wrap down. I'm going to take that wrap or two and then I'm going to pinch and cinch down with my bobbin. And by doing that, you can see how it's done a really nice job of compressing the foam exactly where I wanted it. Take a wrap, pinch, and cinch. And that's going to lock that in place for you.